Hi there. I am in Stokenham in the South Arms. I'm not sure how well you can hear me with all the background noise going on, but I'm standing outside the Tradesmen's Arms in Stokenham where 12 fire engines were called to the scene last night at midnight regarding a fire that has taken down this pub and four separate homes alongside of it. The Tradesmen's Arms and the four houses alongside of it had a thatched roof and that meant the fire was able to spread incredibly easily. We've got a fire truck over there in the distance still, um, still treating the home with water. Nobody has been hurt, that is the key thing to take away from this incident. There have been no casualties and no injuries reported so far. It's really devastating news for this, for the village of Stokenham, where there's only two pubs and a population of 2,000 people. So people obviously knew each other very well. They knew this pub very well. It's been here for a very long time and it's a huge loss for local residents here. People who are out walking their dogs on the green today are really, really devastated. I've spoken to a couple of local residents who can't really believe what's happened. This pub has been in their lives for a very, very long time. And for some people it's even worse, it's their homes that they've lost. Here you can see some of the damage from the thatched roof. It's completely gone. The timing is horrific as the pub had just been recently renovated and people were really singing um, praises of how improved it was. Over here, the four homes alongside the pub, they had, they were in the process of having their roofs rethatched and it had almost been completed before tragically the fire started. Firefighters came to the scene at just around midnight last night. There were originally 12 fire engines. That's now gone down to, I believe, two. And yet, as I've said before, there's been no injuries and no casualties reported, which is the crucial thing to take away from this. But obviously the loss is going to be absolutely devastating for people who lived here and people who live nearby. There's only two pubs in Stokenham, so now that the Tradesman's Arms is going to be out of service for the foreseeable future, that's 50% of people's pub source gone, which is really, 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 really tough news. If anyone has got any questions, I will do my best to answer them. It's such a beautiful pub, it's really tragic news to receive. Firemen have been working, firefighters have been working all around the clock to tackle the blaze. They're still here today, they're still here right now and they're going to be here for the rest of today as well. As I said, if anyone's got any questions about what happened, you can go to one of the articles in the comments page or you can ask me directly and I will do my best to answer them. I believe the scaffolding is set up on that building in front of, on those buildings in front of us as those are the four homes that were having their thatched roofs redone. And here we've got the pub, the Tradesman's Arms, which had just been renovated. Nathan, Daniel, no one, we haven't got any reports about what has started it yet. Nothing official has been confirmed as far as I'm aware. It's 
probably too early to tell. For anyone that is just joining us now, we are live in Stokenham outside the Tradesmen's Arms where firefighters were called to the scene last night just after midnight following reports of a fire. One pub, the Tradesmen's Arms, standing right in front of us has been burnt down and four people's homes alongside of it have also been destroyed. There's no reports of any injuries or casualties. The pub owners are as far as I'm aware, okay physically, but obviously the emotional fallout from this is going to be quite hard to get over. Stokenham is a village of approximately 2,000 people in the South Hams. There's only two pubs in this village. The Tradesman's Arms was known by many people and hugely popular. So it's a devastating loss, not just for the owners, but for the whole village. mentioned it before but for anyone who's just joining us now the tradesmen's arms had recently been renovated so the timing of this tragedy is exceptionally difficult to swallow the four homes alongside of it as well they were all in the process of having their roofs refatched so it's obviously going to be really difficult it's a really difficult time for everybody who's been affected Firefighters are going to be here throughout the day. You can see the thatched roof of the tradesman's arms right in front of me. 
obviously the thatched roof is what made it the fire so easy to spread to the houses alongside of it, all of which also have thatched roofs. It's such a devastating loss for for the owners, for the residents, and also the entire village who have all been sharing some really heartbreaking messages with us today. If anybody's got any questions, then please shout in the comments section. I will do my best to answer with everything that I have learned about the situation so far. have had this happen just after a renovation is extremely sad. As I have said, Stokenholm, where I'm standing now, it's only a village of about 2,000 people. So this pub was known by all and immensely popular. And it's such a big loss, not just for the owners, for the entire community. out if you have any questions. We have had reports that the fire was potentially started in the kitchen. I think that's yet to be confirmed but we have had reports that it might have started in the kitchen. I think the team, the fire fighter team still need to begin their investigation of what happened on the inside exactly. Please do give us a shout if you've got any more questions. Okay, I am going to be signing out, but for anyone who is just joining us and wants to know more about what happened, check the comments for our, the articles that we've published on the situation. There you can find all, all the details about what tragically happened last night in Stokenham. Thanks very much for watching and check out the homepage for more coverage. Thank you. Bye.